Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Nath, your English teacher that will make you wonder. Good day! Welcome to another video lesson in English 10. Our topic in this video is literary criticism, formalism, and structuralism. What is literary criticism? It is the evaluation, analysis, description, or interpretation of literary works. Ito yung paglalarawan, pagsusuri, pagbibigay ng interpretasyon sa isang akta, ito man ay maikling kwento, nobela, at iba pa. There are two literary approaches we can use in assessing a literary piece. They are formalism and structuralism. Let's start with formalism. Formalism studies text as a text. In formalism, literature is a unique form of human knowledge that needs to be examined on its own terms. A literary work can be understood only by reference to its intrinsic features, which are the elements. These elements include the characters, setting, plot, point of view, theme, and symbolism. So always remember that in formalism, ang sinusure o yung tinitignan natin when we're criticizing, when analyzing a particular literary piece, ay yung elements ng story. So like what we talked about earlier. Let's talk about each element. First one is the characters. Character is a person or even animal who takes part in the action. Characters can be protagonist and antagonist. Protagonist is the principal character of a story or yung bida, while antagonist is the opposition or enemy of main character, the contrabida. A character can also be static, which means the character who does not change over time. Or dynamic, the character whose personality changes over time. So, merong pagbabago sa kanyang personality. Like, for instance, at first, he's not that good, but at the end of the story, he became good. Let's proceed to setting. It is the time and location a story takes place. It includes the place, time, weather conditions, social conditions, and mood or atmosphere. Then we have the plot. It is the sequence of events in a story or play. A short story usually has one plot so it can be read in one sitting. There are five essential parts of plot, and they are exposition or introduction, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution or conclusion. Next, point of view. This is the angle the story is told. The question here is who speaks in the story? The story can be told in first, second, or third person point of view. It may be the author's thoughts on the topic or view of human nature. It answers the question, what is the story all about? Okay, now let's discuss structuralism. It refers to interpreting and analyzing a literary piece that focuses on contrasting ideas and show how they relate to the whole structure. In structuralism, a piece is open to interpretation. The text is based on the reader's understanding, which may involve personal belief, environment, behavior, or moral perception. So in structuralism, a literary piece may be interpreted in different ways by different readers because it will be based on how a reader understands a particular piece. It will be based on his or her own perception. For example, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. First interpretation can be, We should be careful in all our actions, 
or else we can drag others down with us. It can also be interpreted as Jack's crown may symbolize authority, so we can apply this to governance. If the ruler fails, it affects the people. And that's it for this video. But before I end this, I would like to read this quotation by Nelson Mandela. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his own language, that goes to his heart. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something at the same time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to get notified on the next videos that I will be uploading. Till next time!